Oh, okay. The number of witnesses doesn't add up. Looks like we're getting somewhere now, but we haven't even scratched the surface of this case yet. And it's all thanks to this top hat wearing gentleman. Oh boy. The court accepts this crime scene sketch into evidence. If one of the witnesses is the witch, that could only mean that one thing, someone here isn't telling the truth. That would indeed appear to be the case, Mr. Wright. Listen well, Sir Blue Knight. The path you tread now is a dangerous one. Claiming that a witch is among these most honorable witnesses is a serious accusation should it prove to be a false one. You will find yourself at the other end of my sword. Do I make myself clear? Huh? But that wasn't so much my suggestion. I mean, the gentleman here with the lovely top hat was the one who urged me to say it. It is the same thing, Sir Blue Knight. Indeed, it is the same thing, Sir Baker. It is the same thing, Mr. Wright. Oh, boy. Now, ready your sword! Oh, ready! <laughs> Were you listening? The claim to which is not the accused that someone else at the crime scene was the true culprit. If what you say is true, then surely you can tell the court exactly where the person was at the time of the crime, can you not? Come now, Subler and I, only you can enlighten us to all oh, this, who this real witch actually is. Blah, 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 blah. So, Doey Defender. Show us where the witch was at the exact moment the murder took place. What? Uh... Uh, how the hell am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know? I don't know. Well, which was I just don't know. I don't know! I don't know. I gotta pick something. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Summons a circle of flame within a one meter radius of the caster. That means that the, 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 the witch had to have been... I don't want this. Get out of here. The witch had to have been in the meat. It had to be here. Got it. The witch must have been standing here. Objection. What is the meaning of this? Unfortunately for you, that spot has absolutely nothing to do with any of these Objection. witnesses. Inquisitor Barnum, I suggest you try taking a look at this. The Grand Grimoire. According to this tome, Ignace summons a circle of flame within a one meter radius of the caster. In other words, the witch had to be had to be within one meter of the flame when casting the spell. Objection! Of course, you needn't say any more, Sir Blue Knight. First off, notice that there's no one else in that area other than the accused. It would also be quite obvious from the sketch that there's clearly nowhere for anyone to hide. Objection! True, there aren't any hiding spots. However, there's one other possibility if a witch wanted to stray, hit, stay hidden from sight. Most intriguing. Since you seem to love showing evidence, prove it! Oh! How is the witch able to hide in plain sight? Oh, that's easy. Duh. Take that. This Talea Magica contains two magic gems. Ignaze and one other spell. That's right, the spell Demir. Demir? Ah, it cannot be. That's right. There was most certainly a switch whip, uh, present at the crime scene. Only they were completely invisible. All thanks to the magic spell Demir. What, what foolishness is this? Rubble, 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 rubble. Order, order in the court. 
I thought the witch used the mayor to make the Talea magic disappear. Objection! According to the Grand Grimoire, under the entry for Demir, it causes anything the caster touches to vanish from sight. In other words... Supposing the witch were holding the staff in one hand while touching part of their body with the other. They would be able to make themselves disappear. Uh, are you... are you implying that it's the reason for the conflicting number of witnesses? Indeed it is, which means, witness... Someone amongst you is not disclosing the entire truth, and that person is the witch we seek. I believe this is the most probable scenario. Rabble, rabble, rabble. Honorable witnesses, you will testify to the court one final time. Tell us exactly what you saw and what you did not see at the scene of the crime. No, I'm certainly absurd. The purpose of this trial is to convict that girl of the crime, is it not? That's right, we are not witches. Witnesses, I ask that you listen. There is a witch mingling among you. That's right, I'm afraid you are no longer brothers in arms. The true opponent here is within your own group. The real witch is one of these five witnesses, huh? Fine by me, time to put an end to this trial. Damn. Witness testimony, the final testimony. Holy crap. Alright. You wish to know where we all were standing tonight? It matters not. Would the flames not just burn the same? That flame, I never saw anything like it. It quite literally left me speechless. I couldn't even so much as scream. I had the tiniest cry, and when I turned around, the bloiders were roasting. So I rushed right over. I heard the incantation, then the flame suddenly erupted. I'm certain of it. I only saw three people there with us. As I said, there are only three others present, like that man there who is stumbling around like a newborn calf. Hmm. The most heinous act indeed. No small wonder these witnesses are so confused. A witch amongst the witnesses. What an utterly baseless claim. I don't think so, Barnum. The only baseless claim in this case is the Espella being a witch. It's more than a little likely one of these witnesses is the culprit. His testimonies are bound to tell me who the real witch is. Oh boy, cross-examining, here we go. 